Hello beautiful people, welcome back. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. My name is Adun and in today's video I'm going to be showing you guys how I write my notes in medical school. So a few of you actually suggested I do this video and at first I was like, me? <laughs> notes? Like do I even write notes? Because when I think of notes, I think of going to class, sitting front and center, trying to write down everything prof is saying, and girl, <laughs> Jabello. Then I was a little bit reluctant because when I see med students take notes or study here on YouTube, they are writing notes on like an iPad, making it all fancy, making it all cute, and I don't do none of that. I don't own an Apple pen. I have an iPad, but I only use it for Instagram because I just don't want Instagram on my phone. So I put it on my iPad instead, so that's really all I use my iPad for. I don't own bullet journals. I just really don't do anything fancy with my notes. So I was like, what am I gonna tell these people? But the purpose of this channel is to show y'all that you can do what works for you, what's sustainable for you, and still be successful in medical school. So that goes for how you write your notes, how you study and how you decide to balance your life in medical school. So because of that, I am going to show y'all my mediocre, apple pen free, regular degular, nothing fancy to see here notes that have worked perfectly fine for me throughout medical school. So if you wanna see that, let's just get straight into this video. So I actually find that the type of notes you need to write or create actually depends on the particular class or rotation that you're taking at that time. For example, one of my favorite things is compiled notes and some classes at my school have compiled notes for that particular class. And what compiled notes are are essentially just hand-me-down files from previous years of all the compiled lecture notes for that particular course. So anytime that there are compiled notes for a particular course, I always print them and bind them and I take them to class with me. If I go, okay, <laughs> and that is how I write my notes. So I go to class and I annotate my compiled notes with whatever the lecturer is saying that might add to or supplement what is already in the compiled notes. But other classes might be different. For example, you might have an anatomy class where you want to go to class or you're in the lab and you just have a blank sheet of paper and you might just be writing down some things that the lecturer is saying, things that you know might come back on the exam, important things that you need to know that maybe you won't see again in a textbook or something like that but then after that you want to go home and compile your own notes or create your own notes for that class for instance when I was in my first year taking musculoskeletal I actually made tables of all the muscles within the upper limb and lower limb and I included their names of course origin and insertion blood supply, nerve supply, whatever the case may be, action, and all of those things, and I compiled them in tables, simple tables that I made in Microsoft Word, and those were my notes that I would have created for musculoskeletal in that sense. So basically, how you write notes and how you compile notes usually depends on the course or the rotation, but for me, my most valuable hands-down notes are usually the notes that I make make at home. Now I am a visual learner and knowing what type of learner you are actually goes a pretty long way in medical school so sidebar you might want to go find out what type of learner you are. I am a visual learner so I like to see things big and bold and compartmentalized so I actually come home and draw out my notes quite a bit. I make flow charts, diagrams, I'm done all kind of colorful things just to get my notes straight in a way that I know I'm gonna be able to absorb that information in my head. So for me, this method works in two ways. The first way is that actually writing these things out for myself at home helps me to process that information again, but the way it's written out is what helps me to absorb it. 
Does that make sense? I have pens in all sorts of different colors and I even have crayon pencils on deck. Like it gets this real. So now let's discuss what taking notes on the ward would be like. And this is gonna be quite different from the way you would take notes at home, of course, and the way that you would take notes if you were in a sit down lecture styled class. So in my last video, I mentioned my clipboard, which is one of my ward staples. And basically all I did on the ward was keep all my patient history information on sheets of paper. And then I would always have blank sheets of paper somewhere in the back in that clipboard somewhere. And pretty much all of my classmates did this. And let's say the consultant or resident or intern said something important while we were on the ward, we would just find a blank sheet, scribble that down and call it a day that was really what my notes from the ward would look like now I think for me and I think many other people what helps you remember certain things about a certain diagnosis or a certain pathology is your patient so some of my patients I really remember I could see some of them on the street and be like hey what you saying like I remember you had this 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 going on like what's good like how's the heart failure like you good so what I would do after rotation is done, I would take all of those sheets and compile it in a binder and I would keep all my patient information in there. So if it's that I need to go back and look at something or I need to be reminded about what medication works for what pathology or something like that, I'm able to go back and actually see that. So this helps me to learn and remember certain things because I'm able to look back in those binders and say, hey, Hey, I remember Mrs. So-and-so she had such and such an issue and she took such and such a medication and so those types of notes are what really helped me for my ward based type rotations and then of course you will still write notes at home for these rotations because there are more things that you are required to know of course as always so maybe you'll go home and write down your full like down in Australia for whatever disease that you are interested in or that the consultant told you to go read up on so very briefly I'm going to tell y'all some of the supplies that I feel like are must-haves for my note-taking and in a separate video I'm gonna talk a little bit more about some of the supplies I keep around to stay organized but just very quickly let's just talk about some of the supplies I use to keep my notes all together so we talked about compiled notes already we talked about binders and things like that already but one of my staples I mentioned this already are colored pencils I keep colored pencils on deck all the time I always keep a fresh box sometimes I go and give these colored pencils away to my niece or maybe she loses one or two of them but I always pick up a fresh box of colored pencils whenever I see them they're usually like a dollar or two dollars and I love fresh sharp colored pencils another staple for me is a paper made colored pens I always get this exact brand and the reason why I get these in a pack with different colors is that when I'm writing my notes in different colors I still want them to look cohesive I still want them to look neat so I don't want my black colored ink to be a different ballpoint size or a different weight in ink than my pink than my red than my green than my purple I want everything to be cohesive and still look neat even though I have have a million colors on the page and the next thing would be my made notebooks and I absolutely positively have to get made notebooks and the reason why I do this is because they usually have this hard plastic cover on the front and for me these books just end up lasting a longer time I find that because of this hard cover and because of the quality of the pages I'm able to keep my notes a lot longer and if you know you know medical school is really long okay <laughs> so sometimes you want to flip back to your first year notes and they still need to be intact because you still need to know that information so if you have an old notebook some poor quality notebook it might not hold up as long in my opinion as a better quality notebook and I find that me notebooks do the trick for me and they also usually come pretty big you could get a five subject me notebook and I really like that for all the notes that we end up having to write in medical school and a couple of times I had a question about my iPad and if I write notes on my iPad and the answer is 
not really the only types of notes i might write in my ipod is if i do take my ipod on the ward or to class which is very rare um, i might go in my actual notes app and write some things down maybe if i don't have a pen and paper on me or something like that but i don't actually come home and grab an apple pen and write notes on some fancy app i literally do not know how i don't know what apps to download to write notes like that and i am too old to learn now so this is my iPad very staple standard iPad it has a strap like this I purchased this case specifically for the reason of carrying it on the board with me on my shoulder but I don't actually write any fancy notes in this thing by the way if you are new here special welcome thank you so much for clicking on this video I really appreciate it my name is Adun Olur and I'm a fourth year medical student studying at the University of the West Indies I make videos on this channel about things like this vlogs and any video really where I'm able to share my raw experience through medical school failures and all so if you're interested in content like that please do not hesitate to hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell so you can be notified each and every single time I post a video but guys that is about it hopefully this video helps you to maybe get some insight on different ways that you can write your notes in medical school but please be encouraged and please do not forget to do what works best for you and what you are able to sustain during your four to five years of medical school but guys thank you so much for watching please do not forget to like this video comment down below if you have any note-taking tips for me or for anyone else who might be down in the comments you know you know you'll be scrolling through the comments so drop a comment down there for someone who might be searching for some note-taking tips again thank you guys so much for watching this video I really appreciate it and I will be seeing you in my next video. I know it. I'll see y'all later. Bye!